Yep, that title doesn't lie. This is how to properly install Create Mod 6. I know what you're asking. Why do you even make a tutorial? I mean, installing mods are easy. Download the jar file, put it in the mod folder, and play it straight away. Easy. Wrong. The reality is, there's more just a simple drag and drop like in every tutorial. If you just directly install great mod without the proper loader, without the proper Java runtime, without the proper mods, Minecraft doesn't create. It just destroys. It's all. So yes, this video exists because we're here to install it in the proper way. Before we start, there's two things you should do and need. First, you must carefully follow my steps. If you skip around and ask me, oh, why my game is glitchy? Sorry, man. I don't know. Second, you need a computer. It can be desktop, it can be a laptop, it can be a Samsung smart fridge. Hell, even a single transistor can run Minecraft too. As long as you have a functional computer, you're good to go. There are three main Java runtimes people talk about. If you heard about GraalVM because people told you it makes Minecraft quote unquote fast, do not use it. I really mean it. That's because it can lead into crashes that is almost impossible impossible to fix. Trust me, I've been there before. But what about Oracle's OpenJDK? Well, you see, their Java was built for the evil corporations. And you're just someone wanting to play Minecraft. So I recommend to use Adoptim Eclipse. Since it's free to use, it's open source and considered to be the most reliable Java runtime known to mankind. Go to their website, select the latest version, then put the OS and architecture of your computer. Click download the MSI, open the file, keep clicking next until you hit install and you're done. After installing the runtime, the next thing you have to install is Prism Launch. What's cool about the launcher is that it lets you set up and manage Minecraft easier. It has its own built-in mod downloader so you don't have to go back and forth in the download page and put the mods in the folder every time. Now, go to their website, click download, pick the exe file, and you know what that means. Yeah, install it. Now, to make sure that Prism Launcher uses the installed Java runtime, open up Prism Launcher, go to the settings, click Java, and then click Auto Detect. Now you will see all of the install java versions that you can use for minecraft double click the latest version then make sure you skip java checks and disable auto download so that minecraft can properly run the latest java for the last one even you have a slow or fast computer put these jvm arguments from my description now we've installed the important programs let's get into the real deal Remember that in the video title that I promised you a tutorial on how to install Create Mod itself? Yeah, I actually clickbaited you. Huh? What the f No, 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 let me be clear. Instead of you wasting hours manually installing Create with the necessary mods and praying that nothing crashes, I made a mod pack that does all of it for you. It has great mod itself with add-ons, quality of life tweaks, vanilla plus mods, a lot of optimization so your pieces won't burn, and yes, it even supports fabric mods by default, so both forge and fabric mods can live in harmony. So to get my mod pack, click add instance, then mod ring, search great properly and you will see my mod pack, click it then hit ok. Wait for prism launcher to download it and bada bing bada boom you can now play the mod pack straight away by double clicking it and there you have it everything is ready everything is optimized everything is proper so go for it create automate and maybe click subscribe to me because i got a lot of minecraft content coming soon anyways play the outro